This segment is sponsored by We Make RI. Well, maybe you're thinking about a change of careers or a new one in manufacturing. There's a local company that can get you trained and to work in a matter of weeks. That is pretty cool. We Make RI is a neat in, uh, organization, and I caught up with the head of it. So take a look. Okay, lots to get to with both of you, but Barbara Jackson, we'll start with you. You're from We Make RI. Can you help us understand what it is that you do? We are a training company that takes people who are unemployed or underemployed and have never worked in manufacturing before, and we give them the skills that they need to do all sorts of manufacturing skills from shipping through assembly, through quality and inspection, and even uh, being a machinist. And we place them after they've been skilled. And that's how we met Dan. Hitachi, uh, Dan, that's where you work. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? So we recognized a, a, a skills gap for our current uh, employee base as well as prospective um, candidates that we were looking to place. And, um, you know, it was the perfect partnership. Um, and, you know, what we manufacture are, uh, is medical tubing and defense products. So. Uh, we're a large manufacturer, about 75% of our employee base is manufacturing, so we needed uh, to upskill our current employees and make sure that people we're bringing into the organization uh, could hit the ground running. So we're talking about products that are actually in hospitals now? Absolutely, yeah. So um, uh, critical to care, catheter tubing is our specialty, and so yes, everything that we make um, you can likely find in a doctor's office or a hospital setting. So what's the actual occupation of somebody at your business? We have uh, process engineers, we have draftsmen, uh, we have um, extrusion operators, or, you know, that's our bread and butter. What are the skills that potential employees would need in order to get a job with you? And it, I'm assuming this is where we make our eye also is helping out. Exactly. So there's um, critical skills uh, or hard skills, right? Uh, use, uh, blueprint reading. Um, using equipment for inspection or actually making parts. Um, but soft skills are key too. And, and, and I know that you know, we make our eye doesn't just focus on hard skills. They recognize that, you know, soft and hard skills are, are critical to success. At We Make Our Eye, Barbara, you have a lot of things that are, are going on, a lot of programs. Can you tell us a little bit more? Sure. We, uh, we run a standard program called IM Manufacturing, and we run a new cohort every four weeks. We have one actually starting um this month so that is for people who have never worked in manufacturing before we are running a special manufacturing job camp for students who are graduating in the class of 2020 this year that will be starting in july and this year we're running a special program called manufacturing gap year so for students who had pledged to college but aren't going to go for a host of reasons mm -hmm. uh, they come start their careers by working with someone like dan in engineering, in finance, in design, but they're going to be workers before they go to school so that when they go to school and they come out with a degree, they'll have a better appreciation of how to how to work and produce whatever the uh, product is that they're, that they're uh, passionate about. So if anybody is interested in working in manufacturing, they can come to the WeMakeRI.com website, fill out an application, and they'll be to start a career within three or four weeks. I think this is this is a great opportunity for so many people, and I'm glad that you're getting the word out. Appreciate your time, both of you. Thank you.